Hey, it's Jimmy here, and I'm going to address how my service learning experience at Jackson Elementary has uh, allowed me to apply concepts from this course and question some of my own ideas. After that, you'll hear Ashley's response to the prompt regarding social connectedness. What made my experiences unique was the fact that I mentored a classroom of only six or seven students who were all boys from different grade levels. These students were set apart from their peers because of behavioral issues. Some of these students were clinically diagnosed with disabilities that caused them to behave the way they do. The way that they were placed into this one classroom made me reflect on the concept of marginalization. Marginalization is when people of a minority or subgroup are excluded from what is considered mainstream. Not all of the students I mentored were students of color, but it was their behavior in class that categorized them into a subgroup. These students were taken out of their main classes for most of the day. The reason why they were segregated was so that they can receive special treatment and attention. One of the things I noticed about placing these students on this margin is it resulted in the teachers having very low expectations of them. Uh, for example, there was this time when I was asked to help one of the students with their tests by reading the questions to him, and the teacher discreetly told me this as she stood behind the student. He's going to score really low, so just be patient with him. He did score low on that test, and it made me wonder if he was not receiving special attention or getting enough help to succeed. After all, the teacher knew the student was struggling, so why make the kid sit through a test that they already know he's going to completely fail? Alright, now it's time for Ashley to share about her service learning experience. Because of the service learning experience, I have been able to appreciate my culture identity by being able to speak both English and Spanish with the students. Jackson is predominantly Hispanic, so the students in my class mostly speak Spanish. It was interesting to see how the few Caucasian students stuck together during class and lunchtime. I could relate to these Caucasian students because I also found myself in high school socializing within my race. I went to a private high school that was predominantly white, and I chose to surround myself with a few minority students in order to stay within my comfort zone. I felt safe due to the fact that my friends looked like me and had similar socioeconomic statuses. This is also known as self-segregation for self-preservation. Self-segregation is when an individual alienates themselves in order to preserve their own identity, whether it be racial or cultural. Through my service learning experience, I have been able to value my heritage and develop a stronger appreciation for being bilingual. 